guys get is uh, kind of some camaraderie ship uh, that you learn to uh, uh, face problems and figure out how to, to uh, get those problems taken care of. Uh, I, the biggest thing I fear are bears. Uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, I think you guys are pretty well planned out, so I don't have many worries. All right. Okay. about the Shenandoah Park itself or something like an, an exciting story exciting funny story all right tell us the history of the park because like you guys are aware of who the gentleman was who first started the idea of the Shenandoah National Park mm -hmm. there's a guy by the name of George Freeman Pio about 1890 early 1900s out of the D.C. area and he used to come towards Skyland up here he'd bring a lot of rich people out of D.C. and out to the mountains and so forth and uh see he saw the opportunity to make big time bucks Park and millions of people and all that stuff. But anyway, the uh, problem was, he was the first person, he started portraying all the people up here as a bunch of hillbillies. Backwards, uneducated, under their first cousin. They were probably so poor, they ate dirt, you know, that kind of thing. And of course, it was so far from the truth, it was incredible. Uh, the people up here, they had towns, they had cars and trucks, the third public school in all the state of Think of Ohio with all the cities and everything else. Virginia, the third public school in this entire state was up here in these mountains, paid for by the people. The first teacher was a lady from the College of William Murray. She treated them like a bunch of real buildings. She didn't last for So anyway, uh, that's kind of what uh, got it all started back in the 1890s, early 1900s or something. And uh, George Freeman Pollock never made it off. He died. Skyland Lodge, uh, his, his lodge was called Massanut Lodge, still there, they take tours and so forth, and uh, he ended his days there, never made a penny off of it, never had the concessions up here, never made the fortunes or anything like that, so, kind of a little poetic justice. Yeah, it's like 